It is diff. This teaching is. See, occasionally Ramana would say something like, um, "You know, the objects are not separate from the subject." Right? You hear that sometimes. Yes, the objects and the subject—they're not—they're not separate from each other. But usually, he's saying, "No, the knower." Seek the subject. When you say the objects are not different from the subject, it's a way of keeping the ego alive. I'll repeat that. When you say the objects are not, are not different from the subject, and you stop there, I should say, then it's the way of keeping the ego alive. Because you hear this a lot. The ego, the body mind will say, well, it's all one. I don't need to go towards the subject. It's all already one. So you never discover what you are. Whereas Bhagavan says, no, all is one. The objects are no different from subjects, but now <laughs> go towards the subject. Why? Because you need to destroy the false identity and discover what you are. The two are the same thing. The false identity is destroyed by discovering who you are. You discover who you are by destroying the false arm, the body, mind, identity. Same thing. This is why in Who Am I, there's a question that's asked of Bhagavan in Who Am I. What is the difference between, I think it's Bhairagya, which means dispassion or turning away from objects. What is the difference between varagya and jnana, wisdom, or knowledge, meaning self-knowledge? What's the difference between renunciation and knowledge? He says they're the same. To turn away from objects and, ab and to abide as the self. These are both, this, one is to go away from the world, one is going to go towards the self. They're both the same thing. 